hear from James? No. N n not one way or another? Okay. So it was between you two? I, I, don't, I don't know if we had a ruling on that. No, I, I think if they want to join you as an alternate for this one. Okay. Okay. You have the sign in sheet. It's uh, yeah, just ask this. Oh, yeah, yeah. she just she just went to get it. Okay. I need more caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 7 p.m., so we'll uh, bring this meeting of the Cecil Township Zoning and Hearing Board to order. Um, my name's Kara Sheridan. I am the chairperson. Uh, James Jones is not here today, vice chairperson. Troy Gump is the secretary, and Alan Barney is the alternate. We have Kathy Landock, our stenographer, Chris Voltz from Tucker Ahrensburg, and Liz Ross, our zoning director. Um, before we get started, I'd like to um, make a motion to appoint Alan Barney as a regular standing me uh, member to this meeting today in the absence of James Jones. Can I get a second? I'll make that second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes to zero. <clears throat> Second, I'd like to have Kathy um, swear in anyone who would like to speak on the record today. So if you could just stand up and, and raise your hand, she'll do the, the swearing in process. James Jones, for the testimony of October Chris, Okay, first item we have here is the approval of the September 16th, 2024 minutes. Can I have a motion? 
I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the September 16, 2024 meeting. I'll second that. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 You too, Alan? I didn't hear you. You're in, Alan, so. Oh, aye. Yeah. Passes 3 0. The first item that we had, um, do we have to recognize that we're postponing the other one? I think we should. Okay. So the first item that we had, um, let me just pull this up real quickly, was a Lambert Fisher variance. Um, we have had a request from the applicant via email that this matter be continued to the November 18th, 2024 hearing. Uh, so therefore, I will move that we grant the request for a continuance and continue the hearing for Lambert Fisher to November 18th, 2024. Can I get a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes 3-0. The next item we have is application 2024-0011, Sharon Duncan, uh, variance for accommodation. The nature of the request is a livestock, a request for a livestock variance to keep two alpacas on less than two acres of land. Um, uh, Ms. Duncan, would you like to step to the microphone? Do you have any updates for us since our last uh, meeting? Um, unfortunately, I've, I've had um, four separate therapists, so I do have the letter from my most recent therapist. Okay. I don't know if you want me to yeah. take that along. And we'll have that into the record. Yeah. Um, I also um, Googled some information. Um, I don't know how it was resolved um, originally to only have um, one alpaca per acre because, um, like I said, I Googled it and it says alpacas need a minimum of one acre of land for a small herd, in parentheses, three to five alpacas. Um, I also have on here that um, alpacas are social creatures and should ideally be kept in pairs or small groups to prevent loneliness. Um, they have a strong herd instinct and need the companionship of other alpacas to thrive, preferably three or more. And it says the alpacas should be within their own sex, which I have you know, two females which are smaller than the males um, these animals are smaller than a full-size German Shepherd. They're not, you know, uh, uh, hippos or anything really large. Um, they don't just eat grass. They eat pellets, and um, I do buy hay for them. Um, so my yard isn't um, just grass, like dirt. So um, I have this. If you want me to pass that along, sure. Um, are some of yep. my bruises from uh, my ex-husband. Um, so do, uh, all, do we want like I said, to, all I did um, was come no. come to Cecil uh, to um, have a fresh start. Hmm? We don't need the. We don't need your. Okay. Well, you this is. They're not document or they're. This is. Um, a, a policeman took these, so mm -hmm. I was just letting you know um, what hell I've gone through. Like I said, I moved to Cecil for a fresh, clean start. Um, my family is, you know, uh, good people. Um, my brother's a, a former Marine, and I've filled prescriptions for 19 years. We're, we're good people, and um, all I ask is to... Um, you know, let me keep both of them. Like I said, they're they're pack and herd animals, and um, I've been here over a year. There's been no issues. Um, my neighbors are very friendly, and you know, my neighbors aren't complaining. I don't know um, 
where this man is that um, started this in the first place and why he's not here, you know, to listen to me. I, you know, I don't know where this came from because, you know, my neighbors are friendly, I'm friendly, you know, they're, they're not, they don't make noise and, you know, they're eating. Um, most of my property isn't even fenced all the way because it needs repaired further and I haven't had time or, or money to, you know, fix more of the fence. My, you know, it's, like I said, it's two parcels and, um, you know, like I said, I have, let me see, let me for my therapy. Okay. Anyone have any questions? I do, Troy, this evening. Uh, the fencing of the property that you were alluding to, was that in the front of the property or is that currently in the rear on the back parcel? There's fencing on both. There's fencing in, on both front and rear, sir. Hmm. The one, the, there, it goes all the way back to the power line and there's probably a quarter of an acre that isn't fenced yet. I said I'm at the home by myself so it's hard to put posts in and everything but I've been doing it so it's not even all fenced in yet you know but it I will like I said my neighbors are good to me I'm good to them and you know I just hope that um, you can let them stay any other questions just refreshing my memory, I know we spoke about the two alpacas. One was the mother, and one was the baby alpaca, if that's what it's called. Uh, just confirming that, and they're both females. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're mom and daughter. I actually was, you know, I, I missed her, the baby's birth by a few minutes, but I was there when, you know, to pull off the um, sack and everything. So, like I said, they're... Of, of, you know, she was pregnant when I got her, and, um, you know, I, I do have, you know, they're, they're registered with the alpacas. I have their papers, like dogs, if you need to see them, or their birthdays, or whatever. I, I do have, um, I do have their alpaca papers. Okay. Any other questions? things from the township okay um, ask specifically that the zoning hearing board consider the definition of variance including where such modification will not be contrary to the public interest and where owing to conditions peculiar to the property and not the result of the action of the applicant a literal enforcement of the chapter would result in unnecessary and undue hardship and result in serious practical difficulties. And they question whether this modification is the result of the action of an applicant moving herself and her animals to a property that is too small or if it is literally conditions peculiar to the property. Um, the township would like you to consider that this livestock ordinance was just enacted in 2016. Um, so that's a newer ordinance for Cecil standards. It's not even 10 years old. Prior to that, all keeping of alpaca was restricted to acre or to properties larger than 10 acres. Um, the township questions if any additional variances will be needed for these alpaca. Um, another requirement for keeping these animals is that the fence is not closer than 25 feet to all property lines and roads. Um, and we're they're questioning if that is if the existing and to be completed fencing is able to comply with that given the property size and layout or if there will be additional variances needed and the last thing when we talked about um, emotional support animals and service animals um, of course the township understands the you know uniqueness of such situations um, they specified that they request that the owner meet a very high legal standard and should the zoning hearing board grant the variance they question what precedent would be set for future applicants and would it open the floodgates 
for owners of more exotic or intrusive animals on these smaller neighborhood parcels. So they would like everyone to consider those things. Thank you, Liz. Yes. Anyone, uh, anyone would like to make a motion? If, if not, I'll, I'll go ahead. I, I would like to make a motion that we grant the requested variance to section 1211-C.4 of the Unified Development Ordinance so that the applicant can, can keep no more than two alpacas on her property as a reasonable accommodation as depicted in the application and testified to at the hearing. This approval shall be subject to the condition that the applicant keep the alpacas in the rear of her yard at all times. Does anyone want to second that or have further discussion? I'll second that motion. Uh, be before we second that motion, I would just like to add, I know some of the stipulations and Liz and Chris, you may correct me on this. If we were granting this variance, another variance may be needed for the setback requirements for the fence, but a fence could go on a property line. So that wouldn't be applicable because I think that they said something about that in their request. Yeah, the, the township has raised that, but that request for a variance isn't before us right now. Um, right. You know, our usual standard language is that, say the board would grant this is that this is still conditioned on compliance with state law and township okay. ordinance. Okay. Go ahead. Um, if I may say, um, I don't have neighbors on my right side. It's actually a big field with grass to tie. But on the other side, there is more than 25 feet in. So I can drive my SUV back to like haul stuff in the back. So there's at, at least 25 feet, if not 30 or more. Like I said, my neighbor is very nice in his um, log cabin. It's way, way in the back. He's not next to me. Like I said, he's very fine with it. But yeah, like I said, the, it's 30 feet in from, you know, it's not on the property line already. Thank you. I was just really looking for a clarification. I'm glad you straightened that out for me. Thanks, Chris. Liz. I think, and, and maybe I'll just ask this here. Uh, we, we, we would, if we would be granting this, it would be for the two alpacas that you have now. So we would want to include in there, like if God forbid one of them does pass away, like going and getting another one then is, is not going to be approved. I, do we, can we put that into the to the conditions? Um, a, what if we approve, or what if the motion would be amended to? Because I don't think the motion's been seconded yet, right? I think we just you just made it. So what if we change it to uh, applicant can keep the two alpacas she currently owns on the property okay. as a reasonable accommodation as a reasonable okay. accommodation? Okay. And well, that this is subject to would you say that they be kept in the rear yard at all? Yes. Time? Okay, so I'm going to revise my motion. I'm going to make a, I move that we grant the requested variance to section 1211.c.4 of the Unified Development Ordinance so that the appl applicant can keep her two existing alpacas on her property. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as a reasonable accommodation as depicted in the application and testified to at the hearing, the approval shall be subject to the condition that the applicant keep the alpacas in her rear yard at all times. Can I get a second? I second that. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Is that three, everybody? Three. Yep, it's three. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry that they were in the front yard. They were in the back for nine months and then it was I was trying to use them as a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> All good. I they would do the front yard in like a week, but it was yeah. a So just, you'll get a written confirmation of this. I might even do some findings of facts since the township is opposed to your application. Um, oh, they are? It, it sounded like that. 
from what Ms. Ross. But it doesn't matter. Record. It's approved now. It's approved yes. now, but they they will get. They do have potentially the right to appeal our decision to the Court of Common Pleas. So. All right. Well, thank you very much. Welcome. Good luck. Good evening. Anyone have any new business or any discussion uh, items you'd like to bring up? All right, so um, with that, this meeting is adjourned. Let's get a motion to adjourn. You think a motion? Oh, can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor <laughs> signify by saying aye. Aye. 717. 717. Sounds like Ari's birthday. There you go. Today is. No, 717. Oh, <laughs>